Hi, my name is Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop in Adobe Captivate. I'm going to do this in a very simple manner, so, you know, obviously you can make it much more sophisticated and a lot cooler looking, but I'm going to show you the real quick, easy way to do it. All right, so the first thing you have to do to make a drag and drop is you need to put two objects on the screen. That can be images, text, whatever. We're going to put two generic pieces of text and create a drag and drop. So I'm going to create text caption. Let's write drag. Let's move it over here. Let's make it a little bigger for you. Let's see. Let's go to properties. Let's just make it bigger so that you can see it. All right, so we have drag. Let's make another text caption. Let's call this drop. Again, let's make this bigger. The last one 28 let's be consistent all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop where you drag this into the drop now you can use images you can create great text you can create great lists for doing this but i'm trying to make this as simple as possible by just showing you simply how to do it so i'm going to go to interactions drag and drop first thing that's going to happen is going to take you to this new screen what they're asking you to do is they're going to ask you to specify the drag sources. To specify the drag sources, you simply click on it. Now, this is considered a drag source. So I would click, if I had 10 drag sources, I would click all of them. I'm going to click Next. Now they want me to tell me what are the specified the drop sources. Here is my drop source. Notice green and blue colors. I'm going to, when I've selected all of them, I'm going to click next. Now what they want me to do is they want me, so if I had like 10 of these, obviously there's one, so it's pretty easy to tell. But what they want you to do is drag what the correct answers are. So I'm going to take this little circle in here, if you can see it, and I'm going to select it. And simply you can see the line forming. I'm going to pull it over to the correct answer. And you can see what they've done here on the screen is I've actually typed, I can type a successful response here. This is what I'll actually type to let my learners know that they've done something correctly. I'm going to click Finish, and you can see. So I have two buttons here. This button controls my movie. Let me move it over here. This actually tests my correct answers of my drag and drop. So here is a failure text. Here is a success text. So let's type success, failure. Now, there's not really a way to fail this because it's one to one. So we'll just show you how it works, though. And that's it. That's the drag and drop. Let's take a look. Just take a second to load up into my browser. All right. All I'm going to do, notice when I drag, click my mouse over, you see the mouse change? I'm going to drag it. It went right into it. I'm going to click the submit button and it said success and went to my next slide. That's it. That's drag and drop. Thank you.